Hi folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to fish a slider for bluefin tuna. And here I have a slider. This is the Hoagie slider, their charter grade series. Now you'll notice on the nose of the lure, I have a split ring connected to a heavy duty barrel swivel and tied directly to the fluorocarbon leader. Now this outfit, as you see here, is rigged with this slider, but I'll cast Hoagie Pro Tails, various soft plastics, um, different plugs, different lures. So this is a good all around um, spinning outfit for bluefin tuna. So you see here, I have a treble hook and single hook configuration. You know, there, there are a number of different options available on the market, but the hooks that we like, um, you know, we use VMC hooks, is this is a 2-0 uh, VMC Tropic Star treble hook. Now this thing is just incredibly strong and incredibly sharp. Actually, you have to be careful with these hooks, particularly when de-hooking an aggressive fish. They are crazy sharp. Then the uh, aft hook, I like the VMC inline, sort of a live bait hook, but you'll notice this inline configuration. So I need just one split ring to have the hook in the right trajectory with the lure. And you'll notice in this case, I have the, the point in line with the back. So it's pointing up and we find this increases the hookup ratio. And uh, you'll notice that it is a combination of two different style hooks. Some folks will use two single hooks on the lure, but I like the treble hook, single hook configuration because it helps keep that bait balanced when you're working it, particularly in you know, various different water conditions. Now using a spinning outfit for bluefin tuna can get pretty heavy duty pretty fast. Now sort of a default drag setting for these larger fish can be upwards around 15 pounds of drag, which doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot. You know, sometimes you can go upward even to 20 pounds and then in certain cases even more when you're trying to uh, seal the deal on a very large fish. So for that reason, uh, any plug you use for tuna should have a through wire design inside and that'll you know, make sure the eyelets and the lure don't pull out. Heavy duty hooks like these VMC trebles and inlines that I have, everything needs to be the heaviest duty available um, you know, for these outfits. So yes, it is a spinning rod but there is a tremendous amount of pressure that you'll be putting on these fish. Now this is my go-to casting outfit. Pretty basic setup and uh, it's a Shimano seven foot rod, the seven foot Therese, extra heavy. It's rated for up to a hundred pound test braid. And in this case I have hundred pound test hollow core with a hundred pound test fluorocarbon leader, wind on leader attached. And this particular reel is a Stella 18,000, but I, uh, I also use a 20,000 reel, particularly if the fish are bigger or I need more line capacity. And uh, let's take a look on how to fish one of these sliders. Now sliders are pretty much weighted for a plug and play retrieve. They're gonna have a very nice, slow and subtle side to side wobble when you bring them through the water. It's a medium retrieve spate, speed bait, I find and uh, fishing them is really pretty easy. So we're gonna cast this lure out. Okay, control my line first. And then now I have the rod at about a 30 degree angle, maybe a 45 degree angle, I'm gonna reel. This lure is gonna be swimming side to side. Then I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna reel, pause. Now sliders are weighted for a uniform descent. So when you pause, that bait's gonna have a real natural horizontal drop, you know, much like a bait fish would if it was just gonna swim and then stop and then suspend down in the water column. Reel, pause. Now you can keep a steady retrieve if you wanna just burn some ground, then pause. But if you go too fast, the lure's gonna wanna spin and do weird things. If you go too slow, it's just gonna not have the right action. You wanna find that right medium retrieve, reel, Pause, reel, pause. And you'll notice when you're retrieving that lure, the lure is just having a real nice wobble side to side. And that's really all you need to know about fishing a, a slider for bluefin tuna.